Waterloo Region Housing Market Overview for August. In August, a total of 539 homes were sold in the Waterloo Region via the multiple listing service system of the Cornerstone Association of Realtors. This represents a decrease of 5.3% compared to the same period last year and a decline of 24.1% compared to the average number of homes sold in the previous 10 years for the same month. Despite a cooling market, detached homes continue to see strong demand, reflected in a 6% increase in sales year over year, says Crystal Mora, spokesperson for the Waterloo Region market area. With home prices showing stability in recent months and interest rates decreasing, we saw some home buyers finally come out from the wings to take advantage of the summer slowdown to seek out specific property types, like single-family homes. Total residential sales in August included 335 detached homes, up 6.0% from August 2023. 103 townhouses, down 22.6%. 60 condominium units, down 18.9%. 40 semi-detached homes, down 11.1%. In August, the average sale price for all residential properties in Waterloo Region was $769,203. This represents a 1.1% increase compared to August 2023 and a 1.7% decrease compared to July 2024. The average price of a detached home was $889,085. This represents a 0.8% increase from August 2023 and a decrease of 2.7% compared to July 2024. The average sale price for a townhouse was $611,164. This represents a 7.5% decrease from August 2023 and a decrease of 1.5% compared to July 2024. The average sale price for an apartment-style condominium was $457,075. This represents a decrease of 5.8% from August 2023 and a decrease of 7.7% compared to July 2024. The average sale price for a semi was $654,070. This represents a decrease of 2.8% compared to August 2023 and a decrease of 1.9% compared to July 2024. While we are seeing increased inventory and longer days on the market, this trend might not last if the Bank of Canada continues to lower interest rates. Buyers will need to weigh the benefits of potentially lower rates against the possibility of rising prices as demand picks up. I encourage potential home buyers to discuss their plans with a realtor who can provide them with tailored advice, says Mora. There were 988 new listings added to the MLS system in Waterloo Region last month, a decrease of 4.2% compared to August last year, and a 7.3% increase compared to the previous 10-year average for August. The total number of homes available for sale in active status at the end of August was 1,640 an increase of 49.2% compared to August of last year and 40.1% above the previous 10-year average of 1,308 listings for August. The total inventory across the market increased by 50.0%, resulting in a 3.0-month supply of all property types by the end of August. Condominium apartments had the highest inventory, with 5.3-month supply, followed by townhouses with 3.5-month supply, and detached homes with 2.5 months supply. The number of months of inventory represents the time it would take to sell off current inventories at the current sales rate. The average time it took to sell a home in August was 25 days, which is three days longer than the previous month. In August 2023, it took 19 days for a home to sell, and the five-year average is 19 days. Cornerstone emphasizes the importance of consulting a local realtor when considering buying or selling property in the Waterloo region. Their expertise can provide valuable insights into the current market conditions, enabling individuals to make well-informed decisions aligned with their goals and preferences. I'm Mark with Timo Krafka, a local realtor with Remax Real Estate Center and a member of the Cornerstone Real Estate Board. If you have any questions or thoughts about the July Waterloo Region real estate statistics or the real estate market in general, feel free to leave them in the comments or message me directly.